This is my first whitewater kayak right next to me here. The Wave Sport Recon 93 gallon. Uh, this is a huge boat. It's an old boat. I think it's probably six or seven years old. It's been through hell and back. Um, in this video, I'm going to show some of the rehabilitation that I'm going to attempt with this boat. Um, some of the issues that it has. Loose fittings, holes in the bottom, cracks in the bottom. And go over me attempting to outfit the kayak with uh, no prior experience of doing so. Uh, I went whitewater kayaking for the first time last weekend with some friends on the St. Louis River in northern Minnesota. It was really fun. I had a blast. I swam once uh, on an eddy line that I shouldn't have swam on, but that's okay. Um, and bought this unit from a friend up there uh, for $50. So you get what you pay for, as they say. Here at Menards. So the details of the history of this kayak are kind of murky to me. Uh, although I bought it from a friend, he bought it from somebody who bought it from somebody who boofed it off waterfalls in the UP and ran some rowdy white water in it and abused it to the point where the logo that's on the bottom of the kayak has essentially been scraped off. Um, so by digging around in the bottom of the kayak, and thinking that I was going to expose where the leaks were, let it all dry out underneath that tape, I found out that I had actually exposed a plastic weld that was underneath some Gorilla Tape. So at this point I realized that I had made a mistake and I had actually torn off part of the patch accidentally and I realized that I messed up. So what I ended up doing is, as you'll see next, taking the kayak outside and putting some, some weather guard over it, some, some roofing adhesive to dry um, a couple different coats. stuff.
Yeah, I told you. You're not going to paint the cat, are you? No, Andy's got to go inside, though. I don't want her to... Yeah, good idea. No, you didn't. Oh, say hello to little bear. Show the camera. She's a chunky little monkey. She's a chunky little monkey. So I painted it on thick, as you can see. So I got a little sidetracked on this project. I let time get away from me and I got behind. Today I'm going to attempt to put the fitting of the kayak together and that may involve a run to the hardware store to get some components to help uh, assemble this kayak because I'd like to use it this weekend out on the river with my friends. So I just walked out of Hans's Hardware, Ace Hardware in Hopkins, Minnesota with $5.25 worth of miscellaneous nuts, bolts, and washers for the kayak. Okay, it is just after 10 o'clock. Kayak's ready to rip. Got a few extra parts I'm going to try and throw on in the morning. Uh, a spare bulkhead, I don't know if that's what that's called. FaceTime to Buddy about that. And a spare piece of foam. Right now I'm going to throw on the skirt and sit in the kayak for the first time like I would be if I were to go out paddling. Over the dry skirt. Sweet! So I just rolled up to the river for the first time with my kayak there. Getting ready to put on with the boys. How we doing boys? Boys! And Trent is going to teach me how to roll today? I'm gonna teach just you kidding. To There's no rolling going on today. I'm just if I if I swim, I swim. You know.
So I just came off of the upper St. Louis River here in Carleton, Minnesota. Um, went and ran it with a couple of the boys after work. You'll see the GoPro footage. Uh, still in the uh, in the uh, outfit. Got my skirt on. And this is the river that we just ran. Man, it feels really, really good to get out there. And I I've been in a whitewater kayak before, but the experience was not very good. It was a short period of time. I, it didn't fit me. Uh, my legs were going numb. To get out in a big boat that fits me really well, it's just it's an awesome experience. And just about dark. Uh, not a lot more time here in Minnesota. So this was an excellent way to cap off um, the summer and living here and experiencing the river and getting back into whitewater. And I'm just I couldn't be any more happy with the experience.